Setting up a live chat or a chatbot with HubSpot is super simple. We're going to do so right now in a free portal. To get started, I'm under conversations and chat flows. I'm going to hit create chat flow over here. This is going to be a website chat. You have the option to set up a live chat, but our example is going to be a bot here from scratch. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to connect this to our general inbox. I'm going to leave my language as English and go ahead and bring this up. So right here, you can see the chat flow builder where I can actually build out the different steps that people will see when they interact. So right when they land, they'll see this welcome message. Got any questions? I'm happy to help. I can customize this if I want to. I'm going to hit save. And then it's going to ask a question. And so in this example, it says, you know, how can I help you today? But we're going to say something like, are you a customer? And we're going to name this action customer. And we're going to add some quick replies for our visitors. Yes and no. And I'm just going to hit save there. So that's the first thing we'll ask. And then I'm going to come in here and you can see now I've got some building blocks, some other options to include. I can send a simple message, let them know about a promotion, let them know about a sale. I can ask more questions of them. So in this example, let's say we'll collect their email address. What's a good email address? We don't need quick replies because they're going to enter their own. We're going to save this actually to our HubSpot email. So we capture this right into our CRM. This is going to make sure that it's an email. HubSpot's AI is going to kind of take over and make sure there's the right you know, requisite in uh, characters in there. So now we have a second option. And then maybe I'm going to go ahead and pass this to a team member. I'm going to have someone book with a sales individual. Um, there's a lot of different options that come in the pro and, and enterprise version, but for this free version, we'll just keep this here. So we're going to assign this and we don't have any paid seats, so we can't put it to anybody, but we'll go ahead and hit save. And that might be the end of our chat flow there. Again, there's a lot more these can do depending on your business case, depending on what your team needs to kind of offer or how your audience is going to interact. You can submit a ticket, you know, based on someone's question. Let's say they're inquiring about a specific service order. We can add people to a list so we can make sure we follow up with the right people. Um, again, if you have uh, some of the paid features, you can enroll them in a workflow and then the sky's the limit in terms of what you want to automate and do. We can also run a code snippet here with custom coded actions. You can grab information, but really powerful tool. If we come in here to the target section, we can actually pick where is this going to go? Is this going to be everywhere on our website? Or are we just going to show this on some specific pages? Um, or we also have the option to only show this to certain types of visitors. So we could say, oh, we're only going to show this to people on a certain list. Again, that unlocks all the power of the CRM. If we say, you know, only people who are already customers, only people who have bought from us in the last six months, things like that. You can also say, like, only show this to, you know, someone who's actively engaged in the sales process. So you could have a sales specific chat. Someone comes on, they want to get right in touch with your salespeople. You put that booked meeting feature in there. The display is going to let us customize where this is. Um, you know, do we have a little icon in here? What do we want to label this? And then on our options tab, we can actually pick a little bit, you know, do we want to in, impose like a slight delay and make it look more like a person on the other end? When do we want to show our chat um, and then consent around processing data? So I'm going to hit preview here and go ahead and see what this looks like. So if I was a customer and I say yes, and then it's going to ask me for my email and I'm going to type in an email here and hit OK. And it's going to say, all right, let's get someone to my person and look at that. Because I'm in my portal, I have a new assigned conversation. So I see that it's working. So to turn this on, I would just toggle right here to on. And now I would add my tracking code. You know, again, we're in a free portal, but if this is connected, you'll already have this set up and it's going to start showing to your visitors on your site. Thanks for watching. Please reach out with any questions.